Hello everyone, this is an updated video on how to downpatch Elden Ring back to a previous version of the game. Useful for speedrunning or testing stuff that is now currently patched out. Last video I covered how to do this as well, but an issue with the method used in this video is that it overwrites your current patch copy of the game with the downpatch version you wish to go back on. Also, some people had issues with the game auto-updating itself back to, well, the current patch version of the game. In this video, I will show an updated method that will allow you to have multiple downpatch copies of the game that you can all run with ease out of Steam, as well as the ability to keep your current patch game untouched. First thing we need to do is we need to determine what version we want to go back to. Let's say in this case, we want to go back to version 112, calibration 112.2, which is the first DLC update of the 26th of June. We will use the Steam console to download the necessary depots from Steam for these versions. I will link the download commands for the most relevant versions in the description of the video. You can also find them on soulspeedruns.com slash Elden Ring slash downpatching. First, open the Steam console. You can do this by pressing the Windows key plus R in your keyboard, which will open a run prompt. Looks like this. While having Steam open in the run prompt, type steam colon slash slash open slash console which should open the Steam console, which looks like this. In the console, copy-paste the depots one by one and let the download finish. Once all the downloads are finished, browse to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps Content to find the downloaded depots. Next, find a place on any hard drive with sufficient space for the downpatched copy of the game. This doesn't necessarily need to be the same drive as where Steam is installed. It can be literally any drive. Create a new folder there and uh, give it a proper name, like the version of the game you're downloading, Elden Ring 112. Next, combine the contents of all the downloaded depots in this new folder by cutting and pasting in the files to this new folder. Verify that all the downloaded depots have been pasted in here before proceeding. Next, create a text file called steam underscore app ID in this new folder. Open up the text file, then put in 1245620, which corresponds to the app ID of Ellen Ring and Steam, and save the file and close it. Next, go to Steam, and under Games at the top, click Non Steam Game, and then browse to the directory of your downpatch copy of the game. Select the executable eldenring.exe and add it to Steam. Click Add Selected Programs. And under your newly added downpatch copy of the game, select Properties. You can give it a convenient name here. And that's it for the downpatching itself. Before we boot up the downpatch copy of the game, be sure to back up your current patch safe and then delete the whole folder. Browse to see users, your username, app data, roaming, Elden Ring, and then find a folder with a bunch of numbers, which has your Elden Ring save files in here. Back up the save by throwing it in like a backup folder or something, and then delete the whole folder. Now you can boot up your down patch copy of the game through Steam. Verify that it works by checking the version and the calibration version at the bottom right of the game. You can repeat this for as many down patch versions of the game as you like, well, and have space for, while retaining your current patch copy of the game. The only thing you will need to do switching versions is backing up and deleting your save. Current patch saves do not work on earlier versions of the game, but saves from earlier versions will be upgraded to current patch once you boot up the game using a save file from a lower version. That's it. 
Good luck with the down patching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.